Well, hello, you beautiful people. How are you doing? Welcome to uh, the second, the second edition of uh, Common Beats. Uh, doing live streaming, uh, basically trying to work out how we can make lo-fi hip hop, chill hop, study beats, that kind of genre. And the last song that you just heard then was the beat that we made on stream last week. Uh, so we started that, I finished it during the week, shared some of the process on Instagram and I think on YouTube as well. And yeah, um, we're back again. So thank you so much. Who have we got in the chat then? Let me just get my chat window up. Oh my days. Hello. Hello. Uh, Sam Loose. How are we doing, bro? Good to see you again. Keep everything loose. Lo-fi hip hop. Uh, Harry Platt music is back. Yes, me. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Our oh, music Bloxians as well. Hi, mate. How are we doing? I remember you from Tatro's stream. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for coming and popping by and hanging out. I hope it's a, a blessing for you because I know that you're wanting to learn more about sort of lo-fi hip-hop stuff and all that kind of jazz. Um, Tom Morton Shire Smith. Yes, mate. The poshest name in chat. That's for sure. How are we doing, bro? Hope you're well. Um, what's the... Hey, <laughs> Mark Reed. How are we doing, mate? I heard there were biscuits. Mate, I... Not here. I hang on. What's going on here? You guys have got biscuits. I haven't. I've got a brew though, so I'm happy. Uh, Tom's got biscuits. Little priced Otis with biscuit. <laughs> what the heck? Mate, that sounds posh as. We just go for Aldi's own, like, digestives, man. The chocolate ones, of course. Buzzed. Uh, let's get some jammy dodges in here, mate. <laughs> yes, Harry. Up in, up in the uh, the biscuit game from the start. Sam, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I've had a nice um, nice kind of day. So yeah, it's been good. So how are we, so, so we hi there. Yeah, hi. Oh, battles here as well. Mate, thank you so much for those loops you sent out uh, over early this afternoon. They are sick, mate. I can't wait to get doing that next week. We're gonna do like samples only next week, I think, um, just to give a different vibe. So in terms of production stuff, um yeah music blocks is like yeah i thought i remembered you from there brilliant oh it's great to have you with us far from posh mate i'm from mank now <laughs> proper mank all right our kid uh you've got rice pudding mate what is going on what is going on posh producers in here man right then if you are new uh to the stream or watching back uh, on youtube and just trying to check out see what we're doing welcome my name is chris from common beats um, i'm a christian wanting to make a difference within the uh, music community by building incredible community where it's just relaxed just chill we learn to make music together have fun i don't take it too seriously uh so yeah <laughs> so so it's all good we can learn together any questions you have throughout the process just fire them away um it's all those kind of things so uh, how do you make good lo-fi beats though? Well, music that, uh, music Bloxians, that's what we're hopefully going to do from scratch tonight. We're going to do a little bit more of an upbeat uh, lo-fi hip-hop type beat. Uh, last week, I did a more of a chill hop. It was kind of like a sad beat. It was raining. Uh, the sun has been out even in uh, Manchester and Salford. So, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so we're going to make something a little bit lively, a little bit more upbeat uh, from Tatra. Yeah, brilliant. I might have only been in mine for three years. I'm starting to pick make monotony. <laughs> oh, the monotone. Monotone is when you just speak like, do, 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 like, hello, my name is such and such. Like, no expression. Uh, so it's not metronome. Although he, may, he might speak to metronome. Get in the flow. I like that. Uh, so, how are you all doing then? So, before we get started, I just wanted to. I've already welcomed people who, uh, who are um, watching back, and obviously you guys who are here. Um. I did a post on YouTube last week around mental health and music production. So um, please do check that out if you've not seen that already. Looking how we can just try and stop ourselves from comparison um, and grow in a couple of different areas. I don't want to give it away. So please do watch the video because apparently it helps the channel, all that sort of stuff as we try and grow. Uh, can you make good music for lo-fi music even helps yeah in ableton light as well yeah so um yeah so it's gloomy to almost like kind of flat pitch as it were so right what we'll do is we'll make a beat together today and then we will 
Um, I think we'll, then we'll look over the sort of some of the arrangement that we did for the last beat that I spent a bit of time with during the week on Thursday and uh, did just a really simple arrangement. It's only a couple of a minutes track, so it's a good thing with sort of lo-fi, hip-hop, chill-hop type stuff. You don't have to do massively long songs. They often sort of uh, a couple of minutes long. Again, it's up to you. The, the, this is the beautiful thing with sort of the lo-fi. More and more, there's little sub-genres of it where lo-fi used to be you kind of cut the lows, cut the highs. That's the whole point, like low fidelity. So it's almost like record vibes and stuff. But now you have really bright sounding lo-fi tracks as well. And so, yeah, it's kind of just working out um, what works for you guys, really. So anyway, oh, I oh, don't know that was off. Let's get into it. So um, I'm going to keep uh, 80. I think we'll go for 80. We did 72 last week, so I'm going to do 80. Uh, again, we're going to play in the Magic Key of C because that's all I can play because I'm an absolute musical bot. But we'll uh, we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. Um, but as I showed you last uh, last time, there was a beautiful plugin called Sound Shifter which again, I'll show you at the end, which just makes a massive difference in terms of one shift in the key, but also a little bit of like uh, time stretching within it as well, which makes it sound even more lo-fi. Good stuff. I'm loving the keyboard cam. Yes, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that's a good shout, mate. I probably should. It's literally my phone uh, dangling from a, from the telly. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that we I could probably zoom in, but I don't want to touch it because it genuinely might fall down. Mate, this this is this is low budget stuff. Uh, Lo-fi makes me think of vinyls in June's game on mobile. Oh, amazing! Happy days. Yeah, it's, that's the the kind of vibe. So, uh, and again, well, that's one of the vibes. There's there's so many different sort of I say sub genres within it, but. Anyway, we've done enough talking. We are going to get creating. And so, as mentioned in the process, if there's any questions, if there's anything you're not sure about, anything you want me to cover on the channel, then please do let me know. I'm I'm new to music production in terms of I've been doing it like a year and a bit now. So since lockdown 1.0, I have a musical background in terms of guitar and drums and sort of singer-songwriter doing worship stuff for churches. Um, and only got into electronic production, I say, during this time. But I've always enjoyed lo-fi, always listened to it. So, yeah, here we go. Just on stream, enlarge it on stream rather than the camera. It's, I can't, I've not got a Zoom thing on that. I don't know how to do an OBS, so. Sorry, mate, we're just going to have to do all it. I won't be doing much wizardry on the keyboard. I'm literally doing seventh chords, and that's about it, I think, today. <laughs> that's what we're going to go for. So, um... If you have any version of Ableton live, open up. It may look a bit different because I've just custom colored like stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, so that will be a little bit different. But in terms of, I think most of the things that I'm using will be in every version of Ableton live. And we're not going to use masses of tracks. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we are all good. First thing you need to know is to whack your metronome on. So once you've got your tempo, Hit that to get your metronome on so it keeps you nice and in time. Hopefully you guys can all hear that. Do let me know if you can hear the metronome. Uh, how are you finding the SM7B? Yeah, I love it, mate. Um, I've been using it for vocal stuff as well as streaming. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty pretty solid purchase, especially because I don't have a treated room. And so, um, yeah, being able to have this kind of mic, a dynamic microphone, makes such a difference rather than the condenser so yep i'm only nine that's uh my pack schedule for school <laughs> oh bless bro oh it's so good that you're into music production at nine that's wicked i so wish i got into it earlier i'm way too old but um but enjoying it all the same can you guys hear that by the way can you hear the click um just want to make sure you guys can hear that so um do let me know because that will be beneficial if we can hear uh, I've got a little midi, my little mini keyboard here as well, hooked up, just in case my hands hurt because I uh, struggle with like uh, chronic pain, fibromyalgia stuff. So um, yeah, sometimes my I can't do that 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 long. So I've got my other my little one here as well. Good. Can everyone hear? Is that no? No one said you can hear or not, <laughs> which is worrying. Uh, 
sleet. Oh yeah, the, the sleet. They're brilliant. And my, my Dan, um, Sterling, who's a producer in Manchester, an amazing guy. He he loves that mic. He uses it and absolutely loves it. Um, all good, great, good stuff. We can hear. Right then, so the beautiful thing about lo-fi is um, in terms of the study beat type things, you want a sort of a, a groove, but you don't want it so busy that everything's crazy. And it's all about the layers. It's all about um, starting uh, small and just building layer upon layer upon layer, which can be um, really add to the texture, really add to the sound as we start to mix things and put things in the, a different sort of space in terms of panning and things like that, which I'll explain a little bit more as we go on the journey, it will make a difference. So we are going to get going. I've got a core progression in mind. Um, I think I can remember it. <laughs> uh, sustain pedal down. Uh, you can hear, can hear. Great. Everyone can hear. That's incredible. Absolute leg of a producer. You know it, mate. He's he's fighting. He's a good lad as well. Uh, what did I do? I think then I went to the one, three. Yeah. So again, with um, sort of like lo-fi hip-hop stuff, it takes a lot of influences from like 90s boom bap and uh, jazz, gospel, R&B. So you get a lot of this sort of the chords that aren't just straight sort of triads like you might hear in pop um, and things like that. That's, duh, 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 duh. let me just take that off actually. It's crunching a bit too much for my liking. Um, so yeah, so this is like um, in the key of C and playing F. Right, let's get it. Let's get going. Let's get going. So how's everyone doing, by the way? Oh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, he did work with Rhythm of Robots. Yeah, Rhythm of Robots have sort of uh, took a bit of a, a step aside for a bit. Um, but he's worked, yeah, myself, Rhythm of Robots, loads of like great artists. And he's just a really good producer. So here we go. <laughs> did that work? Yes, it did. It just was my cameras off there. So let's move back. Uh, I think I want to do a little bit more sort of rolled. Yeah, let's roll it. And I'll do the synths a bit more straighter. So let's go for that again. Uh, again, I've put my uh, record key to R. So you can map any key in Ableton by pressing key in the top right here pressing whatever button it is so i press that i pressed r and it's come up in here so um that's just the easy little shortcut rather than having to keep pressing the the record button with your mouse every time so here we go here we go nice happy with that Push chord there. Nice. Right. So then what you can do is just press Command D to duplicate that. So we'll duplicate that a couple of times. Um, and I mentioned a plugin last week that I forgot to um, actually use. Um, it's called RC20. So I'm going to show you that now, which instantly gives you like a lo fi vibe. So if you kind of taking a, a piano like that that's called the image gyro piano i think it's called it's like 20 dollars, so about 15 16 quid um it's a really simple sort of uh, interface and so i yeah i really like it i think it's got a really nice sort of lo-fi lo-fi sort of sound but you can see no goi no piano stuff here and i've rolled off all the lows just to give it that kind of again a bit more of a lo-fi vibe but it's a beautiful like felt piano type stuff uh, Ableton over Logic. Oh, mate. Um, I love Logic. I, I used to use Logic when I was doing more singer-songwriter stuff, just starting out before I got into electronic music um, production. And yeah, Logic's great. And you can do everything you, you, you can pretty much see in 
able to now you'll be able to do in logic so they've got a sampler they've got all the different things like that especially with the new update but i just prefer ableton for the look the workflow you can move from different uh, arrangement view clip view sort of session view stuff sorry um and yeah for me i just it just connects to me so that's the only reason why i use this over over that um so let me uh, give you rc20 and this this goes on sale like black friday and different things like that but if you if you're like i'm desperate to get it now um you can go and splice and rent rent to own it basically uh so let me just drag that onto the piano and you'll see it gives like an instant sort of like uh let's go to three turn the noise down so you get the crackles in terms of the noise the vinyl crackle the wobble if you want to like go crazy in terms of like really really out there I like some, I'd like it, you know, a little bit sort of, a bit of distortion, like saturation, digital, yeah, it's a bit too much more space, a bit of like kind of reverb, magnetic as well. So um, straight away, if you're here with, I mean, that's without. So it is kind of a lo fi ish piano anyway, but even if you've got like a standard grand piano or whatever, you can stick this on it, it ultimately gives you like a little bit of a vibe. So, decent. Um, I'm going to do drums next and then we'll build bass and then I want to start to get loads of textures and different bits of what's called Foley and again we will get into that stuff. Uh, good about Pro Tools mate, yeah Pro Tools is fire. Um, it's not great with MIDI and things like that but for audio production it's yeah obviously like an industry standard but for me having to pay like, well one I'd say I just love Ableton anyway um, but yeah, Pro Tools, you have to pay like a subscription um, every month. I guess you might get it different with um, where you you are in terms of work or whatever. But um, yeah, you have to pay like a yearly or monthly subscription as well as the cost. So yeah, for me, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, no one's, no one's telling me how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. What are you thankful for? Let's go. And the question of the day, when you were at school or for a... Uh, Loxian now. Are you a one strapper or a two strapper? You know when it comes to your backpack? Are you two strapper or you one strapper? Let me know. Let's get some drums. So last time we built drums uh, doing a drum rack. We're gonna do something a little bit different this time. Um, so rather than dragging in the samples and playing them on the pads, I'm gonna do it with um, dragging audio onto the timeline. So again, there's no right way, there's no wrong way. And guys, let me just let Papa Sabes just chat to you a second. There's so much in the production community about people kicking off, people using samples or using things like Splice, which is a place where you can just drag samples in, whether it be like full drum loops and all that kind of stuff. When people are listening to music, they don't care whether the kick drum was dragged on, whether it was played in, whether it's a sample, whether it's real, they don't care. They're just enjoying the music. And so don't get into the trap that people want to put you down of saying, don't, you can't produce like that. You can't just use samples. You can't just do those things. It's ridiculous, okay? You need to be able to say, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you like, do whatever you fit, kind of fits your workflow. And ultimately, um, as I say, that those that we're making the music for aren't bothered. They're genuinely not bothered. Um, there you go. Papa Sabes has spoken. <laughs> Let's continue. I only rarely use my two strap. <laughs> yes, lad. I used to be two strap and then people used to like grab the top of it and go handbrake and then like flipping like wrench you. So, um, kicks. So I'm going to use, uh, oh, I'm going to use dust kick. So again, I've already put a template together um, in terms of kick, snare, for when I do drag audio onto there, um, saves me having to build new tracks every time. So all you do is put your layout however you want it, go to file, save live default set as, and then save it as whatever you want, and then it will, and then it's there. Um, good stuff. My throat just made a weirdest noise ever then. Um, right, let's look, get into this. Oh man, oh man, sometimes I'm vibing with samples and sometimes I'm riffing. Yeah, man, exactly. Like, it just, I can't, I like a lot of these people then go, oh yeah, but I can't tell the difference between what's a real guitar now and what's a sample guitar or VST. I can't see, like, honestly, it's just people who have got nothing better to argue about 
uh, or nothing to better to do than just to try and pull other people down. And that's why we're building a distinct community here. You're welcome. However you produce, you are welcome here. Come hang out, come learn together. Let's do it. Prepping for that live rig. Mate, what's the live rig? What are you, uh, what are you thinking, bro? Main stage, as well as like with Logic stuff. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Um, and again, you'll see with all these things, I've got my template. Oh, bless you, mate. It's so good. Thank you so much for coming hanging out. Do watch the stream back because I think it'd be helpful in terms of as you use Ableton Live and start to build um, your own templates and your own sound. God bless you, mate. Have a great uh, sleep and uh, have a great day at school tomorrow. Bless you, bro. Right then, so as you see, I've got my, my templates that I have set up. I've got presets that I have set up. I have like favorite kicks and snares that I've got set up. There's no point like reinventing the wheel, doing the same sort of steps every single time. So it's kind of good to have a few little things where you're like, oh yeah, I know that they're fire and I really like them. So um, I feel like a bit more of it. Yeah, bit of a snare 12. I love that. It is just beautiful, man. So I'm thinking with this, so when I'm hearing the piano, I'm trying to think in my head, what sort of beat will go well? And then I'm thinking of the bass line. So you're always trying to think a little bit a step ahead. I mean, again, sometimes you can just haphazardly stick stuff together and see what works, but I'm sort of thinking the piano beat. What am I going to go over? I recommend using the common piano three times in a row. Pretend the sound is bu 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 bu. <laughs> yes, lad. Go on, mate. You go get it. Um, so this, this, so number four. In fact, here's another thing you can do as well with um, Ableton. So highlight the region that you want to copy over. Um, so that'll be two there. So over. Oh, hang on, no, I'm doing half time now. I'm so used to flipping doing half time. So, just cut. Just cut. Um, let me concentrate. Uh, that's why I'm put it a little bit. So, when I'm duplicating stuff over, I'm just pressing Command D. So rather than dragging everything, and then what I'll do is I'll put this one, transpose it down one, just a tiny bit less gain, so it gets that kind of d -d -d, so it feels like a little bit more like a real drummers playing it. Duplicate it over. That's decent. And go back into here. Uh, uh, no problem. See you later. I have a club tomorrow or day after. Amazing. I'll try and find. Yeah, no problem. It'll be there for forever, brother. Be there forever. So, um, hope it's a blessing when you do it again. Uh, might go for that. See if that's the one. I don't know if that's the one. No, it's not. So that needs to go up one. Du, du, du. I think that might be it. Let's try it. Oh, Slamo's here. Hello, brother. How we doing, mate? Oh, fire. 
straight up fire. And if you've got like a little bit of clipping coming in, you can just um, stretch it out and then you put a little fade on the clips on there. Just so, because yeah, that would be a little. Oh, it's that one there. Let me just see what's going on with that. Ah, no, I know why. I've taken off a transient. There it is. So. Let me see that one. Oh, Slamo, it's so good to see you here, mate. How you doing? Mate, yeah, we are literally doing some lo-fi hip-hop chill vibes. This is, this is, mate, it's going to be sick as well. So, um, this is the thing. It, can, it feels so basic at the start, and you're like, what? But this is, everything's got to start somewhere, and it's just this sum of the, the many little parts that make the greater thing. So, if you break down most arrangements of different, you know, different, like, huge great productions and arrangements it's usually just a little little kind of key parts that fit in the right spaces um what's inspiring you what a great question um in terms of doing the lo-fi hip-hop stuff it's just something that i've loved listening to while i study while i kind of like prepare sermons or pray i just love having that space it kind of helps me sort of like think um and so to do this it's kind of musically it's inspiring for me it's something a bit different but there's people like if you're talking about inspirations of music there's people like team astro jay diller uh hutch child um what the guy tatro who like um hang out with as well so daniel <laughs> daniel slamone slamione mate so i'm thinking with that we can then that's the beautiful thing again just highlight the sort of area that oh, helps if you get it on the beat though the area that you want press command d bang we're in the game and then you can start to do variations start to work through things uh, i'm going to build some hats now i'm going to use some loops just so then you don't have to watch me um what should i use It's like a little chill. Where's that chill? There's like a really nice chill one. I can't remember what it's called. Mm. We're gonna gonna use that in a bit. That's, I can't remember what it's called. Oh well. Let's go. We'll try and get this one working. We couldn't get this one working last week. I don't know what the heck was going on with it, um, but I want to get this working. So like this, and I want to show you the grooves thing as well. So. So again, with um, lo-fi stuff, you usually want to bring it down. Um, so you want to like transpose things down. You can do that in Logic. You can do it in every single door, basically. Um, but in Ableton, you can it automatically walks when you do that. And then it just gives it, again, a little bit more of a chiller vibe rather than everything being super bright. Oh, my keyboard's running out of the battery. Thing, isn't it? Nice. I like that. Um, and then what you can also do is there's this thing called grooves, which I tried to show last week. Again, it wasn't working. I don't know why, but there's these hip hop grooves and stuff like that. Um, this is, I don't know if any of the doors do this, but like in Ableton, it's every single one has this, I think. So, and there's like different boom back sort of 16th. Let's try that. See what that feels like. Hmm. So it's just kind of making it a little bit like that. You know, I was talking about last week about the boom back, a uh, boom back, <laughs> boom back. Maybe got that. Uh, boom back in terms of having that whole thing of being able to be a bit more skippy, a little bit more shuffly, bouncy. It just adds like getting in the pocket of the groove. So it's not just which you would kind of find more in like rock and stuff like that. So Hey Pete, how we doing bro? Good to see you man. Oh thanks man, thank you. Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's a helpful process like in terms of just, here's how I do it. This is just one of the ways. Um, last week we built stuff from drum rack and played the drums in on the pads. Um, just want to show different things each week. Last, The next week we're going to use samples only. Um, so Battle Beats, um, he's an amazing producer. And YouTuber as well. He's sent me some uh, guitar samples that he's kind of processed and done stuff. So we're going to chop them up and do bits with that next week. Again, a bit more of the boom bap sort of type stuff where using actual samples and loops to 
to get stuff going. A nice 16 shaker. Yes, mate, I, I'm feeling that. I feel like in terms of we've got that sort of 16 vibe there. I'm just gonna put that to the left a tiny bit. Uh, I'm gonna put my snare just a little bit to the left as well. Kind of how I see it behind the kit, if that makes sense. And then we'll get like a nice uh, other perk thing. Let's try some perks. Um, That'll be sick. That'll work. It's kind of like a counter rhythm to what's going on already. Mm. Yeah. Feeling that, guys. I'm feeling that. Um, I might do one more little thing. In fact, what would this be like if I use the hip hop? What was the other ones I had? The grooves. Apes late one, there it is. That may be too much the late stuff I strike. Yeah, I actually like the lates, it's kind of a little bit tighter, feels like a little bit. So good, well done, shake some brown stuff. <laughs> To just give me the ball, man. Give me the flipping ball. Chill. What are you trying? Mm. Nice. Boom. I'm feeling that. I'm enjoying that. So let's try some bass then. So um, again, I've already got a preset set up. Um, you know, I know this works. I like it. This is a good starting point for me in terms of using more like real bass. So. Oh, my days. Apologies if I've just blown your speakers. My bad. My bad. If brown sauce was a sample of blue, <laughs> what would it be? Oh, mate. It would basically be the sound of, of velvet wafting down your face. That's what it would sound like. Pure velvet, just down your face like that. Mm. Let's go. Yeah. I wonder whether I should actually put the snare down a tiny bit. Mm. No, maybe not. I might use the... That might be a bit too bright, but... I can't bother copying and pasting them all over now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it will be re. It will be re. Slapping the bass, mate. I'm so, <laughs> so bad on bass. I'm such a bot. <laughs> literally full on. Musical blagger, mate. I am literally a musical blagger. Uh, why is that now not on? Oh. I don't know. Where's my bass gone? Oh, I've put it down to minus infinity. That's probably why. I thought I did it to 20. <laughs> Read them. Let's have a little play. So this is what I usually do. I'll just loop it um, and then just, yeah, give it a whirl. Loop four bars, so you press Command L once you've selected region. And then, oh, start from the back, the beginning. Oh, yup, yup.
Sorry, guys. No, I've literally split the difference and done that badly. Oh my, it's because I'm not zoomed in enough, that's why. Oh, we zoom in. <laughs> then you can actually, like, do the things properly. Uh, so, do. holding alt down but I'm not so just this Record that before I forget. <laughs> uh, start again. Yep. Start again. Okay, let's go again. I think I've got this now, guys. I think I've got this. Here we go. All my days, they keep hitting that wrong note. Here we are. <laughs> Good old MIDI. Just change the note. God bless MIDI. Working with that kick for me for no reason, I don't know why. Let's go from the beginning. This is good. Am I just doing it a bit too late? Though? Okay, no, I'm not that. Ah, I think I've hit, cut the transient off again. Uh, no, I've not. Thinking of that, guys. You like it? You like it? Do the cha cha? Hallelujah for media and changing notes. Amen. Uh, and I think I'm going to do like a little bit of a different variation for this bit. Just be there on the yeah. little cheeky push. Nice. Right, 
So what I need to do now is turn the hats down because they're triggering me a little bit. Turn the perks down a little bit. Uh, kick needs to go up. Um, just so I get a little bit more of a feel it's more of a it's not a mixing thing it's more of like a, um, a sound design thing for me which is townhouse compressor which I flipping love it's on plug-in alliance um, I got it for $19 so they do sales all the time sign up to the website and they do like pure like you never have to pay full price on anything. it's like waves um, and this is just beautiful I love it on everything it's just it's like a SSL type thing but it was um Townhouse Studios in London or something. There's only like a few of the, these consoles got sort of made. So I'm gonna um, smashing my master already. Sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's take that down. Let's make sure the attacks up. take all these things and just take them down a little bit. This is gold, lad. Five Monday nights. Thanks, bro. I hope that's the dream. Just want to be able to do this more and more and then we'll do Discord communities and yeah, just, just literally just starting out and seeing where it goes, but I'm enjoying the vibe. What I think I might do now is use this other little plugin that I use. It's about £9.50 or sometimes even cheaper than that. I got it for £7.33, I checked. <laughs> uh, just, just gives it like a, a really nice lo-fi sort of light vibe to it. I don't like it's, that's gone weird again with the it's every time I put that plug in on the this the hat the hat seems to go weird I don't know why um, maybe we just need to no let's try it come on we can do it I quite like it actually like that let's just keep it like that and I'll skip it a little bit later in terms of in Ableton, you can press this delay track on here. So you press the D at the bottom there, and then I can delay the track a little bit. Um, so I can push it forward. So it's just a little bit late, which I like. Nice. Uh, the Dulcet Northern Tones. <laughs> Welcome to Jazz Club. Great. Bro, it's so good cheering you on gotta go mate thanks so much honestly appreciate it bro thanks for coming and hanging out have a good rest of the evening yeah that feels good right i'm kind of feeling it i'm kind of feeling good uh consolidate that uh, now i want to there was this little loop thing, I can't think, oh, it's going to do me noggin in. Or is it just hat loop or something? Um, all results, hat loop. Is this like, it's called easy or something like that, or easy hat, I think. I came across it the other day. Well, it wasn't that, was it? It wasn't that. Oh, nope. Nope, but thanks all the same. God bless. Take care. See you next week. Now, bye bye. Uh...
this is feeling good. Hmm. Let's do some synth stuff. So I'm going to use Omnisphere because that's fire and I got it for free. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the Spectrosonics team for giving it me for free after sharing vision. Mm. Mm. Uh, in fact, what am I doing? I've got templates. I'll show you my template. Oh, yeah, that is my template. Mm. Template back here. Smooth EP. This is like a new go-to. This is a new go-to. You'll see why in a second. It is beautiful. When we say smooth, it is like flipping butter, mate. It just reminds me of like R&B type vibes. So we, we give it a go. So. I don't know if that's the right thing. And in Ableton, there's something called Capture MIDI. So if you play something, you've not recorded it, it's fine. Um, press this thing up here and it's captured it. How clutch is that? Absolutely phenomenals. Um, did I do it right anywhere though? <laughs> um. I don't know if I even did it right anyway. something quite right with that bass let me just start from the beginning i want to clash i can sort all that stuff out off stream type thing but i want as much of it to be you guys seeing that it you've just got to keep going over and over again <laughs> with stuff and and trying to get things right um so let me go with this again and let me try and... so is that the why am I, why is the bass clashing huh? I'm not sure why. I'll put this down anyway, and then we might we might change the bass because this is just needs to be chill like this. It's that note. It's the bass note on there. I think that's what it, what it is. I'm doing it wrong. Sure, I think Any of you musical people out there, tell me, is it some clashing? That, uh, no. Welcome to being a potty musician. <laughs> mm. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Then let's copy and paste this little bad boy over so we get that right as well. Uh, there. And so that'll be there. Uh, the 
bass plugin is uh, Reichenbacher or something like that by Contact Native Instruments. So uh, Scarby Rickenbacker, um, both pure DI, and then I use the UAD uh, tape uh, amp, which the Brainworks is free, the Brain Brainworks version of it, um, and then R bass. My cheeky little preset. It sounds fire, doesn't it? Nice. Right then, so what else are we going to do? Hi guys, I'm liking this. Uh, let's go stream ideas. Oh, we'll put it in there. Um, pure velvet. <laughs> That's what it's called. In brackets, brown sauce. You flipping know it. Let's go. Uh, feels like a sky bar slipping off. <laughs> what fashion would this be? Also getting Arctic Monkeys, Tranquility Bay. Oh yes, come on. Love that, mate. Let's keep going. What do I need next? Oh, this little, where's this tail thing? I've got this like, I used it on the last beat uh, and then saved it as a preset. Why well, can't I see it? You know, when you try and read something and literally everything just goes like, you just don't know where it is. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. There's something that's got tail in it and I can't see it for looking. Ah, oh, there is sparkle tail. I called it that. What a name. And this is just instant sort of like nostalgic lo-fi beat sort of vibe. So pining after nostalgia of an era that you were never part of. God bless you. Uh, that will do, I guess. Think of IFT, I guess. Yeah. Um, Ebo, because I have to have Ebo in everything I do. <laughs> it's the law. Just because I love this Ebo. It's uh, it's called Eboing Insta Istanbul. There you go. Just oh. You. Let's go. <laughs> that was a bit of the button, right? Oh, the actual, I missed the whole key. <laughs> Don't like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to record it here at the very start. So now I can let the tail run into the second bit. 
Um, so then it doesn't feel like everything's just loop, 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 sort of copy, paste, copy and paste. So just gives a little bit of variation uh, as we do like transition stuff and things like that. So let's go from the beginning. Let's go. If I press the right thing again. play in I want to play in because I want to get used to playing keys <laughs> bring back the whale noises <laughs> oh mate it is I did have the right key it's just literally uh, E minor triad how can how hard can that be an E minor triad okay it's a Inversion. <laughs> so let's do whatever it is. There we go. Mm. Side of the EP, put the sparkle in a little bit so we don't touch. Yes, Jack, how are we doing, mate? Reverse, then that's a good show, man. Let's give that a whirl. Thanks so much for coming. You were there on the gaming stream yesterday here on the uh, Common Beats live stream today. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. Mm. So that'd be nice again to be able to now sort of duplicate that out. Oh, I do that every time, every time. And then just let that, let this thing sort of like ring out a little bit. Um, it flows into each other a bit more. I think we're going to do a little bit more like percussion stuff, some texture stuff. Um, I can't, I'm gutted I can't find that little perk thing that I, oh, loop chill, is that it? No. <laughs> oh, the anticipation was high. I like that, kind of like a bit of water texture stuff. That's cool. And then, was this like Calypso thing? Calypso, I can't, can't spell, so grooves, Calypso accent. Oh, I wonder if that'll work on there, actually. What's that doing? be cool for like a little, a little breakdown bit um like for 
this bit here. Alrighty then. <laughs> That's so much better for that when it's stripped back. See, it's all about experimenting. Happy accidents, man. Happy accidents. So I like that with this little, um, this bit. And again, I'm not too worried about arrangement at the moment. I will do all that stuff. I don't want to, I have to stop myself trying to make the perfect track from scratch. I've just got to throw a load of stuff out there, chop and change stuff like at another time, mix it another time. Um, what else have I got in my little cat scratch loop? <laughs> That'd be quite cool, actually. Might get that in. Um, that would probably work on top of this bit as well. I like that. In fact, I think I like that better than this. Let me just mute that for a second. Yeah, I like the understated simplicity of that. So we're going to take them out for a little bit, uh, consolidate them. How's everyone doing? Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> just literally just enjoying it, That which is great. But if you do have any questions or if there's any other content you want to see, I know one of my mates, Pat, was chatting about me doing a setup video, just like literally explaining how to set everything up from scratch. So I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, if you've got anything that you kind of... This is trouble, I'm such a tweaker. You have to excuse my process. Uh, let's try the hip hop grooves again. I kind of feel that there's something better with this, uh, the 16. I don't know what even that will do. But try it. Oh! That's quite fire. Let's try this. Which one do you like? Do you like that with the kind of, or do you prefer the, uh, the push and pull on this one? It's got a little bit more like groove to it. Number one or number two? You decide. You decide. better with like some kind of like see our grooves are just absolutely clutch and like just don't know why people don't use them so now I'm, I'm going that needs to probably go there and then this just needs to kind of duplicate out chatting need to do the sections that's a good shout yeah that is a good shout spruce let's try that do one in the section <laughs> that's nice as well man these are just I can't decide they're so good Loosely flow. This is just like pfft. I 
okay that's the section that's the breakdown section that's the chill section right there that's what that is that's official and i think this one is even going to be the that <laughs> Roots one was sick as well. Oh my days. Yeah, we're doing that. We're just doing that for now. We're doing that. Water texture is gorgeous. Is that built in or bought? That's um, a guy called Tetro who I sometimes like help moderate chat for. He's incredible. He's an amazing artist producer and he he does sample packs so um yeah i got that because i'm a patron of his and i got like a free sample pack and stuff like that but you can buy it separate from this, yeah. and that's things adding like loads of textures and stuff so use it like last time i added rain we've got some of the vinyl crackle already on from rc20 but again i could like add like birds or i don't know let's do it let's just add some birds man um it's got quite a late night vibe um, a stream. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Or is there anything? What does it remind you of? What is this kind of like? These sort of like beats. Where would you be sat? Sat? Would you be on a beach? Like by a stream? Would you be in a city? Like I don't know. What, what are you thinking? That's yeah, perfect. That absolutely smash the mix. What I'm going to show you now is what we did last time is side chaining. We are ready to side chain people. We've got enough stuff. So I'm going to put everything into the keys group um, that's sort of keysy. And then all that stuff can go in there. I need to put it white so then I can organize stuff. And then, so in terms of with um, lo fi hip hop and a lot of EDM and different things, side chain is like a massive part of the sound. And so what you can do is like last time we had it, we had to use the key, what's sometimes called the key or the trigger um, as the drum rack. And that's a bit more complex, but this one's easier. So you can use any compressor basically that has a side chain, most do. And then audio input from. So we want to choose the kick drums. So every time the kick hits, all this other stuff gets out of the way, it just ducks out of the way quickly. And so you can set like set your attack and release on those sort of things as well to kind of um, make it stronger or make it last longer or not or if you want it like super super tight um, so we'll have a little play with it and see what I'll do it like over exaggerate so you can hear so that's kind of classic kind of dance thing that people can do so like obviously with faster stuff um, so I'm just going to do it subtle but stick this rx on here it's 950 get this bad boy on there this is yeah i mean you could we could just literally just this would be enough right <laughs> in terms of for a lot of lo-fi stuff this is this is the vibe you just i don't know stick a car i call it 80s sort of like uh retro vibes going on in it i'm really enjoying this 
Uh, I need to show you this before other people go, because I'm going to stay on for another sort of quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, because I then need to go and stretch. Um, but uh, there's a great plugin that I used last time called Soundshifter. Anyway, I forgot to ask, how has everyone's like whole hugging thing gone today? I've not seen anyone other than my family. <laughs> so, it's like we've just been hugging stuff. Hugging anything in sight. Because uh, obviously in the UK, lockdown vibes is... Uh, oh, I'm doing I need to put some on my master. Hugging random strangers and licking lampposts. You know it. Right, let's stick this on here. What have I done, bro? Stick it on your master. And this thing is clutch. So again, it like makes it sound even more lo-fi. Um, so we'll just put it down and maybe a semitone or something. My little Mac is trying. see though it's kind of brighter but i don't know i always go for the dark stuff man uh let's try and find one of the other presets i've got for on me uh, that's not like a lead i missed miss sold that bright accent Good, thank you. 
My day's been great, man. Thank you. No, I've got a clue. Okay, so again, if you've not got, um, if you're on Ableton and some other doors do this as well, if you jam around like that and you're like, oh, I actually like that bit, just press capture record and it's recorded everything in the background and then like loads of, like for ages. So. <laughs> that, that was the bit I wanted, just that. Is it this bit? Hang on, so what does it just go like? instrument so only one note at a time oh well okay 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 uh how's everything chris only just tuned on properly because i've been in zoom me oh mate <laughs> mate come chill after zoom bro come chill after zoom i've been sounding lit come on mate come on thanks so much mate i appreciate that yeah i'm enjoying how it sort of turned out Oh, that, whoa, whoa, what is even that happy accident? What even is that? Right, let me just separate this out a second. E, let's cut that out. Um, there is a way to insert space, but I can't remember what it is. Is it? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna end up botting everything, but there is a shortcut. Learn your shortcut, guys. <laughs> Learn your shortcuts. Uh, oh, crumbs. We don't want that because that could then cause some cheeky cheekies that we don't want. Uh, I just want to move this over, and I'm going to start with this. Like, what the heck? That sounded fire. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, so let's move that in. Uh, move that across. Oh, make sure that I don't then um, hit it there. Thanks, man. And then move this in. Oh. Can somebody tell me what happened there? Can somebody tell me? Nope. Nope. <laughs> so it needs to go. Wow, well, it's because I'm so zoomed out. I always do this. I always bot it. Um, let's try that. 
Turn this up to this. Okay. What am I doing, bro? I've, I've, I'm so excited in my head. I can hear it. So I'm trying to rush to get it sort of down. And I don't have the skills yet to be able to do that. Newbies, I'm with you. be sick so we could do like a little um almost like a tape stop thing as well so that would be cool that push is terrible is that like that on all of them Do the tape. Uh, I'm trying to think how I could do the tape stop effect. Probably just use like a thing off splice or something. Let's see if we've got anything. Uh, splice. Nice surprise splice. Oh, that's my boss. Um, tape stop. Ooh. Oh. Whoa, mama. Apologies. <laughs> yep, that was pretty fire. Nope. nope. Yeah, maybe. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. How is that a tape stop loop, bro? Prepared piano. That is fire. We're gonna buy it. <laughs> Where the heck is it? What, what which one was it? Is, that... <coughs> oh. is it gone? Where, what the heck? Where's it gone? You can't do that to me. Where the heck is that gone? Right, it was on this prepared, prepared piano thing, wasn't it? So, uh... some kind of tape stop thing. I'm so I'm so losing track. Uh, oh, that's gonna do me in now. What was that? What even was that? Right, we're gonna come off splice again and then come back on it and see if we can get that chilling because I want that that thing. Oh, no, sir. Do you have recent anything with like recent? Nope. Uh, tape stop. Uh, got a bounce, got an early one. Love the beat, bro. Thanks for streaming. Can't wait to flip some guitar. Yes, mate. That's going to be so much fun. We're going to, uh, yeah, flip some of Battle's uh, guitar stuff. So that's going to be sweet. Mate, thanks as always for coming and supporting. I appreciate it so, so, so much. God bless you, bro. Have a great day tomorrow. Have a blessed week. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Uh, tape stop. Please come. Is it? <laughs> Oh, what the heck was it? Oh, that's it. Never going to be able to find it again. <laughs> oh, not. Oh, my days. Right, Spike, you can make it such a sick beat like that. Uh, we will just actually use one of the actual tape stops and I've got uh, this one. Well, that will do for now. And then I don't know why it's not allowing me to see that on my, why is it like, how do I drag it over to the other, st oh. I don't know. Let me see if I can, all right. And now you do, if you've got splice or whatever, you just <coughs> drag it in to uh, an empty clip, not a one that's taken like that. And then you're good to go. You can do whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, let's not even do that. Let's just go in, put it down, get a load of effects on it. And then. <laughs> and it needs some kind of like crash really, but it will do for now, unless we do a stop like. Uh, it'll do for now. It will do. You get the idea. You get the idea. 
Okay, get your whale sounds out, bro. <laughs> Late night chill. You tell <laughs> that is so late night chill. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Du -du -du. What was that? Just need to get this start right. So it needs some more of a little sort of grace note type thing. sound but I like the, the sort of riff maybe try the different I'll try just a couple of other things see if we can find anything that fits but the flute sort of vibe kind of works I guess uh, what would it I don't know synth lead synth poly what uh, percussion string noise case keyboard hit some bits uh, I'm not really sure to be honest not sure what it would be kind of classed as Strings, what with that synth, I guess. Synth short. I don't know. <laughs> Come on now, this could be this could be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, needs to be synth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is exactly the one. Let's just pull this one down though uh, into a new thing just in case we need it for later. That could be quite a cool little. Oh, no, it's not sound I think this could be a really cool little. Right, I'll tell you what, that needs to then. We need to extend that out, that's what we need to do. Hey sis, how we doing? Lovely to see you, thanks so much for coming on. Our beautiful sister, ladies and gentlemen. Excessive when it's a bit long. 
take it down again. Okay, that worked with that going on there as well. Decent, so, uh, excuse me. Uh, how do I do that then? Oh, I'll just put them on. They'll be fine, we'll just freeze this track. How are you doing, sis? Anyway, let me know. How's things going? How's the fam? I hope you're well. I've got lit. Oh, I'm five minutes over already. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, five more minutes just kind of, if there's anything else that stands out, do a tiny little bit of mixing just to get enough to be able to sort of share what we've what we've done today. Uh, a little show and tell. <laughs> um, but I'm happy. I'm really happy with this beat. I say it's been more of an upbeat, um, lo-fi beat for me anyway. This is kind of a bit more upbeat. Last week's was real sort of chill hop study beat stuff this i mean this is more like the lo-fi girl um not the sleep beats but the one that's like the study beat for that sort of genre i think that would fit within that so um we're great thanks ah great good to hear wibbles like what yes jack how are we doing mate we are we are we're pretty much we're pretty much there, I think. I, I really like what, we, what we've got. Um, I feel like it fits the vibe. I'll show you what it's like without the... You might, you guys might like it brighter. Let me know, brighter or darker, you'll hear. The, this is the darker version, so I'll just let you know. Once this is frozen, just then it saves CPU. This is the darker, sort of light vibe. So it comes like late night. to one so I take off this sound shifter maybe if it's like a bit brighter I don't know uh, yeah I'm gonna do a new SoundCloud for common beats but at the moment they're being um, yeah I've just been sort of showing stuff on Insta and YouTube but yeah I used it before the stream so each time I'm gonna do that and will be on Spotify as well. I've uh, got DistroKid now, so I'll be working some of that stuff out. So yeah, so the dream is to build up a loads of ro royalty-free beats that people can use, so like churches can use, or individuals can use, uh, but also streamers can use as well. Obviously being a streamer myself, like with gaming and stuff like that, to be able to have beats that YouTube aren't gonna like cancel your, <laughs> cancel your life. So, uh, yeah, but it's, I feel like it's, let's, it's like from the beginning. So we've got. Mm. So what I need to do with that, I think. So in Ableton, you can automate stuff. So whatever you've touched last. So we touched the volume on there last. So um, that's where it's up to 10 dB. I'm going to then put it down and then it will fade in. Oh, done the wrong track. <laughs> it's late. It's late, behave. Uh, helps if I do the right one right. There's nothing on that track. Show is just like I need to go back on his stream. There's like a, a Max for Life device um, that does a tape stop thing, so definitely need to get on that. Use Ableton for launch pad, yes, mate. Reversed. Let's just reverse. Oh, 
flatten down my my car, but um, oh well, I'll work on that stuff later. probably stuff like little these are little good things when you can just take a little snippet and then stop it for a second so uh, for the drums if I just stop that there and all this bit here um, I think this should be enough just like a little beat and just gives a little bit of interest like a little in fact I'll do that there whole lot there. So again just breaks up the section a little bit. Cut. 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 Nice. I think get rid of that. Um because I was triggering me before oops I mean to do further save I think we're good so um I think started doing bit mine oh mate <laughs> now you won't I've not got a clue like genuinely not got a clue about all that cryptocurrency stuff and all that kind of thing so uh in fact I'm gonna play it one more time and not say anything because I can then use the YouTube stream straight after the YouTube stream um trim a little bit so I can show people what we've done so <laughs> remind me not to talk here we go so here is what we have done tonight that triggers me we're not having that It's such a, like, pretty naff. Mm, that's going. If you don't like it, it's going. We'll find something else. Or we'll do, like, a reverb on that snare or something. Um, anyway. Let's, so, show and tell. Here's where we're at. we got to that is where we got to so it's either that or this like more chilled one yeah that's kind of more lo-fi oh i'm so i'm so torn because i quite like the i think i'm gonna have to go for this you guys let me know anyway guys let me know hey paddy great to see you bro how we doing mate i've got um next week i'm flipping like a guitar sample that someone sent me and then the week after that i'm going to be doing some of the stuff that you sent bro so uh thank you so much honestly your gu that guitar sorry your piano playing is ridiculous 
It's so good. Yeah, so this is where we're at. From not done any mix or anything, but again, just as a mixing tip, um, people who are watching back, um, make sure you cut low end out of stuff that doesn't need to be there. this one okay sis I'm in I'm in I am in yeah moody ending <laughs> full on moody ending I think I've got swell now man I am literally like my back is sore but I've proper proper enjoyed oh yeah we're going around again why not? Let's go around again while we chat. Uh, so, yeah, thank you to everyone who has been on. It's been great having people dipping in, dipping out, uh, being able to come and show support. Hopefully, for those watching back as well, you've been able to learn something. If there's anything else that you want me to cover, as I say, I'm new to it as well, so I, I want to learn. So it'll make you learn if there's things you're like, can you help me with this? Um, so next week, we're going to do samples only and do like a J Dilla boom bap type thing um, yeah and then I'll do some mixing on this during the week we'll get it up there hopefully I've SoundCloud ready for, or sorry Spotify ready for next week as well we can start putting these beats out there um, but yeah I just appreciate you guys I uh, hope you know that you love that your life has meaning um, I'm going to be praying for you um, and yeah just thankful for the community that is starting to grow and build and we will be here again next week um i'll be here sunday night being able to do some streaming on my other channel common gaming so doing like gaming stuff i think we're playing rocket league next week uh, gonna have a go at that uh that's eight o'clock as well gmt and then we'll be back again with common beats next monday so a week today i'll be doing it again all over again and we will continue to learn and grow and as mentioned i did a music and mental health kind of video last week so have a look on this channel and then next week i'm hoping to do a like a basic setup video so for someone who's starting out in ableton what would it look like to connect say one controller um to ableton what would that look like so just like a midi controller like this what what would that mean so yeah we will we will do that and hopefully that serves people so please do hit that like button uh, please do share it with others as well who might be into this kind of stuff and until next oh sorry i've got a little thing i thought everyone else had done next stream you should make a song with vocals oh yeah we'll, we'll do a vocal stream that'd be quite cool we'll make pads we'll make pads out of like um yeah our vocals and things like that that could be quite fun yep noted bro noted rocket league we og viewer <laughs> mate it might be it might be it might be uh, i'm gonna see if jakey's up for it um but yeah we'll see mate we'll see and uh, honestly your idea yesterday was sick as well i've made a note with that so um thank you for being such a blessing to me lad so uh, yeah take care god bless see you again soon and until next time i've not i forgot to put the shortcut button on for stop stream <laughs> so until next time until next time, love thy producer 